Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about are villagers good or bad? So is it good to go to up to a villager and why are is it good or is it bad? Why is it bad? So, we're going to start out with the bad. The bad are... So the first thing that's going to be the worst thing you could possibly do. This is going to be layered on points. You might see them on the screen. Some tallies possibly. I don't know. I might do that. Anyway, I forgot to say. Like the video. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah. So let's get started with the first thing. Which is um, popularity. So you might not know this. But each player has their own popularity with villagers. So it depends on what they do. So if you trade and you be nice, you're gonna have a higher popularity. And you might be like, well, that why is that bad? Right? Well the thing is, is a lot of these popularity things I have listed, um, well I figured out from stuff I researched this, is the fact that this is all almost all of it's negative. And that's why it's bad. So the number one thing that's good out of this, the only thing that's good, is that you get one plus point of popularity if you trade with villagers. So each villager you each time you trade, let's just say that, you unlock another point, which is good. If you attack a villager, you lose a point. If you kill a villager, you lose two. If you kill a baby villager, you lose three or slash attack it, which means just hit it. And then if you kill the iron golem, of the village you get five points deducted meaning once you get so we, oh wait first i'll have to explain this what's the thing why does it matter if i lose points you know you're like oh yeah well um the reason why this matters is because once you get 15 or less i mean 15 or more the golem of the closest village if the village you're in does not have a golem will come and find you and attack you no matter what. Um, and you cannot change a person's popularity and, it, and popularity does not reset because you died. That is why it's so bad. Another thing that, well part of the reason why it's also bad is because um, it happens that one village might have a high popularity but another village might low so the point is each village is different depending on how you act um the next bad thing that can happen and reason why a lot of people probably don't like villagers um is that if a door is 66 blocks away or more f from the village meaning villagers may that means that villagers may leave to go to that area so if the you make a door, you make a house 66 blocks away from the village, villagers will leave their village and possibly go to that place to start their own village. They won't build anything, obviously, but that's the good, a bad thing, right? Because you don't want them to go to your house or anything. And the other thing, the bad thing, a lot of people probably know about, is that the 2% chance your village will be containing zombies. Um, why is that bad? Well, there's obvious mo a lot of reasons. Number one, these zombies, they don't despawn, which means if you don't know they're there, you're dead. Uh, another thing is there's no torches, so if you want to live there, bad things are gonna happen. And the last thing that's gonna is pretty much bad about this is that there's no villagers. So yeah, so you might be like, well, I'm not really convinced that that's good or anything, right? Well, the I mean, that's all bad stuff, well, so what's the thing? I'm trying to say that this is, uh, well, I'm trying not to give my opinion, so just telling you that. But, I'm uh, just telling you, my opinion is good, but I'm trying to not do that. But all these things, bad things can prove to people who do these things that villagers are bad. But that's because they make them bad. But when I go to the good, you might change your way. So... The good things are some trades such as the Ocean Explorer map and the Wooden Mansion map are only available from villagers. Now you might be like, no, okay. I still hate villagers, they're stupid. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill those villagers no matter what. After I get those maps. Well the thing is 
this is. I mean, you can. But, I mean. It's only 12 to 20 emerald for Ocean Explorer and 16 to 28 for Woodland Mansion. And you might be like, well, uh, I could just explore for a Woodland Mansion. But it's so much harder than you think. So, the point is, is that's an important thing. So, you might be like, okay, well, I can just kill the villagers, like I just said, after that. Because they're still useless after that. No, no. Because the next thing you can possibly find that's good trading system is the enchanted books for fifth, fifth, five emeralds. Sorry, I almost said fifty. To through six, the stack of emeralds for enchanted books. This could go to max level enchanted books like sharpness five to sharpness one. And the thing is, it's a lot of people think a stack. Does that mean all of them are stack? No, it just means some. Because some prices, like, let's just say, um, I'd say, um, how about efficiency five? I mean, that's obviously going to be a stack of emeralds. Because you can't get that, you'd have to combine so many efficiency books just to get that. Um, the next, the other trades that I just want to say they are good. Oh, wait, before I do that, one bad trade, uh, I do know some trades are bad, and I will tell you this. Trades such as, um, you know, 10 gravel with an emerald for 10 flint is the worst. It's a ripoff. But don't go up to a villager who has that trade and says, Villagers are ripoffs and they're all villagers are like this. Because there's so many different professions of villagers. Meaning, okay, I'm going to put it on screen right now. Okay, so you probably will see a picture of a bunch of villager professions besides the green one, which is, in my opinion, useless. He doesn't even have trades. I mean, come on. But, my point here is that each and every single villager has different trades. Each colored villager. So, the brown one offers those, but that doesn't mean all villagers are bad. In fact, a lot of people see some rip-off trades and they just think, All villagers have rip-off trades! But to be honest, some actually have good trades, like one emerald for five through seven cooked pork. Nice, nice stuff, right? And then the other stuff is like, um, this is a sort of a ripoff, is a bottle of chanting, because it goes up to two to 12 emeralds of the cost. And I mean, that's exclusive for survival only, that's the only way to get it. And chain armor, once again, that's only made for getting from villagers. And but you might be like, how do I obtain emeralds? Well, the one way to obtain emeralds is to go, and the easiest way is to literally go to the gardens and mine the wheat. And when you get about 20, 21, you just trade it to get an emerald. And bam, you can get pretty much a lot of stuff. I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, so here's all the trades. No, no, no. You're going to have to figure out yourself because, yeah, but... Um, there, you might be like, wait, so the bad is actually winning, not the good. To be honest, yeah, until you look at it. Well, the bad things are, is that you're actually killing the villagers. That is, so that technically means that if you're not killing the villagers, there's not that much bad stuff, to be honest. The main bad stuff is when you start attacking, killing. When you actually start doing negative points in popularity. Um, so you might be like, well, how do you fix it? Well, you just trade. You trade with villagers to fix your popularity, and, yeah, you want to get that high popularity, and it pretty much, if you pretty much do the exact opposites of the bad stuff, you're pretty much, villagers are not bad to, to people like me who think they're cool. You know what I mean? Because you're following those slash kind of I'm quoting right now but rules almost of villagers um and I might make a video in the future if you want to see one about how to obtain emerald how to collect resources to gain emerald how to use your emeralds wisely um and I do want to make a video about village history because I started finding stuff online about villagers and how they had it big history i mean trust me but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like the video subscribe and please leave a comment if you want to know how to obtain emeralds 
like, like the video if you want to know how to tame emeralds, whatever. Uh, leave a comment if you want to know villager history, meaning villages, how they evolved over time in the different updates. Uh, and goodbye.